Hello everybody, this is a new video from Christoph. Today uh, I have the big honor to try one of the first upgrade of the Apple Squeezers, uh, the firmware of the, of the card from the Apple 2GS and also we will test the new control panel uh, that will uh, help uh, handling all the diff different features from um, the Apple Squeezers. So if we have a look uh, in this Apple 2GS ROM 03, um, we can see that the system recognizes uh, uh, 7 uh, megabytes of, uh, of RAM. And normally, after this update, we will be able to have a uh, a new visibility about the RAM from uh, GSOS without using the tweak version of uh, GSOS. So I received a disk that contained a classic desktop application and a control panel uh, for the Apple squeezers. There is also the hardware, uh, I mean the firmware uh, version 3 of, uh, of the card. My card today it's a version 1 and a very important read, read me, uh, document. Let's have a look together. Um, as I said, a new CDA and a new CDEV and we need to follow exactly the different step uh, to, to upgrade. Um, the first part I did it already, I mean using my uh, actual CDA to enable acceleration on built-in RAM uh, of the Apple squeezers. So, so just have a look here. You can see everything is okay. Uh, oh, and by the way, it's uh, core one. I did already a shutdown uh, and restart. So now we will install the CD and CDEVs just by dropping them into uh, into the system folder of the GSOS. So let's do it. This is my hard drive disk system. Christoph, uh, Christoph. Here we go. Continue, replace, and we will put the new CDEV by doing exactly the same. Continue. Okay, now we have the new CDA and CDEVs into the system. Let's, let's just have a quick look on the README. Uh, we will do a reboot and after that we will go into the uh, control panel. So first we will do the reboot. So we can see that it's a classical ROM 3 starting 604, but the classical version. And now we will continue the upgrade on the test. So as we see, we did step one, two, and three, and four. Now we will go into the control panel from the Apple menu. And the first one, it's Apple squeezers. Let's have a look. Oh, beautiful icon. Open it. And we can see that we have everything is done and we are here core version one. So let's try to do the update. So 
So the classical warning. I will go into Apple Squeezer's disk and take the Bitcore 3. And now we need to wait. By the way, I thought that it would go slower. Of course, not uh, turning off the system because as for a lot of system, when you, you are performing a firmware update and uh, switch off, then after that you start some big issues. We are close to 100%. So it's copying. After that, I think we will have uh, installation. No, it's done. Okay. Hard reboot for the change to take effect. Okay. So let's have a look here. Find the Bitcoin and update. Do not switch. Okay, so this was done. And normally after that, I must be able also to, to set the memory of my uh, Apple 2GS to 13 megabyte and not only seven. So, shut down, shut down. I just need, uh, this is something, a little issue that I have with, uh, uh, with my uh, vid HD. If I have a French keyboard and French layout, I cannot set my screen at the beginning. So let's switch off. A few, wait a few seconds and restart. Okay, yeah, often I need to so let's see. Let's see. Everything seems to restart normally, <laughs> which is a good sign. And now let's have a look. Core version three, perfect. Uh, let's have a look in a different way from here. Core number three. And you can enable and disable the extra RAM. Perfect. So let's do it from the CDEV. And if we have a look right now, normally, where is the RAM? Ah, here. Yes, we are still at the same. So, shut down, restart, and let's see how it looks like now. It's just absolutely unbelievable that you are able to upgrade your hardware directly from the Apple 2GS, from the Finder. Most of the time, for new cards that need to have some uh, uh, hardware upgrade, a uh, software upgrade for, for the hardware. You need to do it offline. You need to to put a SD card or something like this. Here, it's uh, really, really, really easy. Okay, and let's have a look. Okay, I still have seven. Ah. I know where is the problem. Change will take 
effect after hard reboot. Okay, so let's do a new one. Need to wait a few seconds. System restart. And now let's have a look. Ta -da! We have the 13 memory available. Perfect. This is just rock and roll. Uh, so now I suppose that I can do a big RAM disk. Restart. So a full upgrade from core one to core three, adding the new uh, availabilities or um, the new features of the Apple squeezers. Uh, I mean, the ability to use uh, more memory on a not um, uh, prepared GSOS, but now directly. It's done and work well. Uh, you are able to create your own RAM disk without any issues. And by the way, you have the right amount here. Let's have a look into the control panel. RAM disk, uh, we can see that uh, we can see the full memory. We can see that uh, we have also our RAM disk. Um, and uh, if we are doing something funny like uh, yeah, uh, we have some showers here let's put in there perhaps I did a too big folder <laughs> wow uh, okay let's let's do it in another way because it will take too much time. So, oh, by the way, during the calculation, okay, now it's done. What do I have in terms of? Uh, uh, let's try this one. It just to to check that uh, RAM five is really using as a as a RAM disk. Yes, okay. Okay, so I don't know why this game is called Pac-Man, because it doesn't look like Pac-Man. Um, but okay. This work. And we are back to the finder. So this is perfect, everything is running and now I have the next generation of software of the Apple squeezers. So hope to see you and talk to you soon. Of course, as always, please uh, send your feedback about this video, put likes uh, and uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to have uh, more video about uh, the Apple 2GS food and some uh, other good things. Take care and uh, I'm very happy to have version 3. Bye-bye.